homie. What's up with the pink shirt? Real men can wear whatever they want to feel comfortable. And that's where I'm at. I'm Zen. Well, I'm Mixed Mushroom Mike, but I'm Zen. I'm sure Miles Vidal agrees with that. Wait, hey, oh, yeah, look at that. He got that Versace. Versace, Versace. Another ride with the Ultimate Fight fans. Joey KO, Mixed Marshall Mike, and here we go. I just had an idea, an epiphany, because I feel like seeing the internet. Only Dana him. White, Only he had this idea. No one else. Well, the internet is going crazy with it as well. So you're seeing a lot of people is actually thinking about this. And they because is. Masvidal helped the UFC 251 Fight Island do over 1.3 million pay-per-view buys. And that alone is phenomenal. That's worthy of some damn credit. The, the cash cow in the UFC has been Conor McGregor. Not UFC. has been, is. He continues is, to be. He continues to be a superstar and, and does a million and better every time he steps up. If they put together Conor McGregor versus Street Jesus Masvidal, the UFC is going to break the pay-per-view record. One thing you do risk by making it happen right now is that you're relying on the fact that that Usman Masvidal fight put people to sleep. So if anyone was put to sleep, was the fans. Yeah, so I, you want to build... Sleepy. I got sleepy in there, but that's more... Build, of, no, that was Usman's neutralizing Masvidal. And we know what Masvidal could bring, and he showed glimpses of it. He's an amazing fighter. Every but, time he got a chance, he threw his hands, and, you know, he's such a badass stepping in six days. Put the BMF belt on the line. Let's get Conor McGregor in there. I know Conor McGregor... He's not going to mind stepping in. I think he wants to fight. He's shown signs. Bad motherfuckers don't come off a loss. So I think you need him to just come back, beat another tough 170 guy. Or maybe he fights a contender at 155. Would that be incredible? I think no matter what division the fight is, it's going to be amazing. But there is a chance that Masvidal felt that Usman was just way too large. Even though he wants to rematch, so I'll take that back. I do believe he wants to rematch, so he's going to stay at 170. Fight somebody at 170, destroy him. Like We know he can. Any fight what you do with Masvidal, you put him at risk. You put in that big fight. You, you can't do it after two losses in a row. But I feel like you can make a fight even though he lost. At, you know, he fought for the title. So he didn't lose to no bum. He lost to Usman, the current 170-pound world champion. Who would he fight right now, even if we were going with the possibility McGregor. of him? McGregor. He's not going to fight. The McGregor fight is going to be a next. cash cow. I think it should be next. I think that Conor McGregor wants to fight, and he wants to be in a big fight. Oh, that's a huge fight. That's a huge fight. That's a huge fight. Let's do it now. Obviously, Masvidal is a legit star. Oh, they, I think this event shows you that. But it also had two other championship fights. It had UFC Fight Island gimmick around the whole event. So there's many things that brought but the let me ask you It's a the question. only running business currently so far. But let me ask you a question. Sure. Do you think if Usman and Masvidal doesn't happen, let's say Burns didn't get COVID-19, Right. And the fight goes on as normal. Do you still think UFC Fight Island is going to do the numbers, 1.3 million? No. Without Mosby, though, I would probably predict 650, maybe 750,000 um, buys. That's what my general guess would be, similar to like a John Jones pay-per-view. But with Mosby, though, coming off the fact that he came off another close to a million pay-per-view buy, fight against Nate Diaz, it proved that he took a lot of that fan base when he defeated Nate Diaz, and he was able to elevate this event too. The ESPN Plus era pay-per-view record. Mm. Conor McGregor Cerrone earlier this year did 1.1 million. So this has overcame um, that event. But if you just merely break it down, which most people probably won't do, the event that McGregor headlined was trash. Not trash in what we got. Trash in the marketing compared to this event. You have UFC well, on fight. Paper, yeah, you had championship events. That fight, do you remember another fight? I don't think so. There were good fights, though. No, it no. Just wasn't, it wasn't a stacked card. Hey, can definitely. we comment about that just a second? How great all of these fights have been with the pandemic, with all these circumstances changing all the, the, the small nuances of the sport, and they're still producing these fights? If you're not excited, if you're not, you don't want to talk about this, I think 
You're a crackhead. To stay on subject, I feel like this is the time right now to cash in on the cash cow. That is Masvidal versus Conor McGregor. We might not get this opportunity again. I think both guys are willing to do it. Dana White is a little... It sounds like he's a little worried about Conor McGregor because he... You know, Masvidal is naturally bigger. Well, that was before the Cerrone fight. Joey Kales wanted to make a video series on if Cerrone should retire. And I mean, when we do that, drop a comment if you want to hear from us about that. He is closer to retirement than, of course, the middle of his career. So we got to say that. McGregor's credit for that victory may not be as high. So I don't believe him fighting Masvidal off a loss is going to give him the credit. No matter who wins, you got to give him credit. I, I think Masvidal has the advantage because of the size. But I don't think it's a huge advantage. I think it will be a very entertaining fight. And, you know, well, any guy could win in I a think fight like I, that. I Styles, believe Styles make fights. Yeah. And uh, if you know anything about fights, they both stand up guys. Sense. The, the map They're don't not make wrestlers. Sense. Masvidal has some good ground game. Yeah, but, but Masvidal won. These one guys, thing. they're going to want to bang it out. He hey, is the fighter that yo. likes to fight. He is the aggressive, right handed fighting um, pressure fighter. The difference is he doesn't wrestle much, and he can wrestle. I'll take that back. He definitely can wrestle, but he doesn't wrestle as much as, of course, Usman can. Mazu, though, if he's shown anything, is that he is a superstar, and I won't disagree with that. But like I said, I'm going to reiterate, it's not the right time. If he's able to come back, defeat another contender, be, defeat anyone, they're, they're going to be able to market a, a, a winner. You, you run a big risk because if he loses two fights in a row, now you lose this opportunity. And if Connor fights somebody they're fighting, in between, he can lose. They're, they're really, so I do see what you're saying. Yeah, they really are not fighting in the same division. And we, we already lost Tony Khabib this year. Yeah, good riddance to that. But Connor McGregor fighting out, most likely he's going to keep fighting at 155. But he don't mind going up to 170. And I think an opportunity to make a big fight like this, a super fight, he will do a catch weight and, and Masvidal can go down and, and meet him maybe they can have a catch weight at 165 and make it now. the first inaugural championship fight at 165 pounds well there was talk about new divisions being added to the UFC so well, who knows well if you're talking about the official rules and regulations they have added new uh, weight classes the UFC however being the, the most influential organization hasn't adopted those divisions. 165 is one of those divisions. 175 is one of those divisions. I, I believe 195 is one of them. And I believe 225. There's no denying the fact that the fight itself could be sold pretty much in any context. Their celebrity status, popularity right now, they are in their prime. To your point, this is the biggest that he may ever be so you probably do want to take advantage of that but i'm still sticking to the fact that they should wait until masvidal comes off a win because i don't think they want to put mcgregor into an event without fans so we disagree on that but what do you want to see a fight with event with fans what about next year i, I could give two shits about the fans being a that with the fans. I love watching fights without the fans now I got used to it. I like it. Oh, I miss the fans. It's entertaining. But, um, we opposites today. I miss the fans. But who you think will win that fight? Mm, and I have one last question. Is Masvidal the biggest Spanish-oriented fighter in history? I know Tito Ortiz saved the UFC, but he is culturally more American. Of course, he's a Trump supporter. He identifies as an American first. Where Masvidal, though, I feel like he embraces a lot of his Hispanic culture and his Cuban heritage. So I believe he's the most influential Hispanic MMA fighter, probably ever. I, I just think Tito Ortiz's been doing it for too long, but Masvidal could easily surpass him. I think is he still has a lot of time left. Tito never, Ortiz is definitely well, to your point. not gonna come back. I mean, he shouldn't come back. Who do you think will win this fight? I think Masvidal has an advantage, but I think it'll be a very close fight that could go either way. But the most important question, is the timing for the fight right now, or should we wait until both guys have come off a win? But you didn't answer the question. No, I'm asking the fucking You asked the question, but you didn't answer my question. Oh, what did you ask? <laughs> Who do you have winning the fight? Oh, you was asking me. I thought you was asking no, the I'm fans. Asking you. 
I do believe Mosby, though, ironically, sets himself up to get knocked out by McGregor. And I know that might sound blasphemous, but the reality is I'm biased. I'm a connoisseur. And the second reality is that Masvidal is an aggressor. And at this point, he only knows one gauge. And I think that gauge is the reason why, even with a six-day training camp, was the reason why he died out late in the fight against Usman. Because he fought... I think at a, Usman has something to do with that. No, too. I know that. But his, his octane velocity level of pressure and aggression obviously plays a role how long you can last the way you start a fight is going to affect the way you can end the fight so when you see Masvidal um approaching a McGregor fight if he tries to be the aggressor like he normally is and I don't believe that's going to change McGregor is going to meet him in the middle with that left hand and that's where it could be dangerous. And let's not act like Masvidal hasn't been dropped or hurt before. And he's never faced nobody with the precision plus the power. Because McGregor's not the biggest man. He don't got the biggest arm. The diff he has power plus accuracy and speed. He hasn't faced all combinations of that. We saw what happened to Wonderboy Thompson. With, with him against Wonderboy Thompson when they squared off. He wants to rematch him. If you fight a smaller version, but more explosive version of Wonderboy Thompson, how will he do? Interesting fight, man. Give us your take. Joey KO, out. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Peace out. But, but Masvidal, um, Masvidal, damn, I lost my train of thought about jumping. So, you back. have me going. If you've seen his reasoning, but he goes, look, three things could happen. One, what could happen is what happened. I put him out. Two, he could get me down, but then I'd show him that I have the ability to get back up. And three, I could get him and hurt him. I don't know what the he was. I was so good. One and two. I was hanging on every word. Listen to me. I was hanging on every word. I was like, what is this? Went to the right field line all the way and curved out of miles right away.